If there is no positive head at the inlet to a centrifugal pump, a priming device must be used. A centrifugal pump must not be operated unless it is fully primed. In this video, the various parts of a liquid ring primer pump, the principle behind its operation, its application are described. They are typically used as a vacuum pump, but can also be used as a gas compressor. On board a ship, this pump is used for priming applications of emergency fire pump and cargo discharge pumps of centrifugal type. Since the regulation permits the use of fitting the emergency fire pump within 4.5 meter above the minimum water line, this pump must be fitted with a self-priming pump. The pump consists of an impeller which is placed eccentrically inside the casing. The impeller is having forward curved vanes, which are shrouded on one side. The suction port and discharge port are provided in the front end cover. The suction port is connected to suction piping and discharge port is connected to discharge piping. The mechanical seal is fitted behind the impeller. A bearing is fitted inside this bearing housing. The pump shaft is spline coupled to another shaft which is supported by the bearing. This shaft has a friction pulley on the other side. This friction pulley can be made to clutch in and clutch out with the driving shaft of the motor by an auto cylinder. The spring inside the auto cylinder keeps the piston rod in. The link connecting the piston rod with the shaft clutches in the primer pump with the motor. This side of the cylinder is connected to the discharge side of the centrifugal pump by a pipeline. When the centrifugal pump builds up discharge pressure, the pressure will force the piston rod to protrude out against the spring force, which will disengage the primer pump. Fresh water is stored in a sealing water tank which is mounted by the side of the pump. When the pump is standstill, the water is filled to half the level in the casing. The suction side of the pump is connected from the bottom of the water tank. The suction side of the pump is also connected via a non-return valve to the top of the centrifugal pump into the suction chamber. The discharge side of the pump is connected to the top of the sealing water tank. Now let us see the principle of operation of the pump. The suction valve is kept open. The discharge valve is kept shut. When the main pump is started, as there is no water inside the centrifugal pump initially, the pump is not developing the discharge pressure. The auto cylinder keeps the primer pump shaft engaged with the motor shaft. When the rotor turns, the water inside the casing is thrown outwards centrifugally. The rotor churns a rotating ring of liquid to form the compression chamber seal. The makeup water from the sealing water tank and the air from the main pump are drawn by the primer pump through the suction port. The water follows the periphery of the casing due to centrifugal force imparted to it by the rotor, and the water ring revolving eccentric to the blades recedes from and reapproaches the rotor boss once in one revolution. 
thus producing, in effect, a series of reciprocating water pistons between the blades. This causes continuous suction of air from the main pump and discharge of air into the sealing water tank. As the air is continuously removed from the main pump casing, vacuum is created inside the main pump casing. Water rises up in the suction pipe and fills up the main pump casing. Once the casing is filled with water, the pump develops pressure. and this pressure acts on the auto cylinder which disengages the primer pump from the main pump. Now the discharge valve of the main pump can be opened. Hope this video helped you in understanding the principle of operation of the liquid ring primer and the purpose of the auto cylinder. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content.